Hey guys, today I wanted to do a video about Nikon 16 to 80 millimeter. Uh, it's an f 2.8 to 4. It's an E series lens and it has VR. Now I wanted to start off by saying that this is definitely a DX lens. I've tried to use it on a, a full frame uh, and see how much of the full frame it covers and it's really not much more than the crop sensor uh, mode. So I definitely wouldn't advise trying to shoot it in full frame mode. Just go ahead and use it in crop mode if you need to. That said, if you are going to stick with the crop sensor camera for a while and uh, you want a general all-purpose uh, lens, then I do find this to be a decent choice uh, against the others on the market. I wanted to start off by saying that I did watch a uh, Ken Wheeler video where he pretty much trashed the lens and uh, you know I'm gonna straight up tell you that I don't have as much experience as this guy probably does um, but I would say that I've used about four or five different uh, you know all-purpose uh, lenses and stuff and um, you know among the ones that I've used it is the best one I've used so far now the general gist of what he talked about in his video is that the lens quality didn't match the uh, old Japanese lens that he was comparing it to and uh, you know I'm not going to disagree on on that I find that you know a lot of the older lenses were built a lot better as far as that goes and I mean if you you know wanted to compare it to older manual focus lenses and such I mean the build quality is just no comparison. Uh, that said, for the autofocus mechanisms to work the way they do on the modern lenses, they need the lenses to be lighter, uh, or at least that's my understanding of it. The other main thing that he talked about was that it uses a uh, plastic focusing mechanism in it and uh, that it's not as good or as reliable as some of the other uh, lenses on the market. Uh, even within the uh, G series uh, silent wave uh, motors lenses. Um, I can't really speak to that uh, as most of my lenses have been older either the screw drive uh, like D, D series lenses or the uh, older manual focus lenses and so I don't have a lot of experience with some of the newer G series lenses. Uh, I wouldn't say that this one's any louder or you know anything like that than the other lenses I've used that said um, you know I'm not going to be able to really speak toward longevity of such a motor uh, however I you know I did buy mine probably three or four years ago now uh, with my D500 body and that would be the best way to get this lens because um, when you buy it by itself the lens is around a thousand dollars and that's a lot more than I would want to pay for it. Um, but if you bought it with a uh, camera body as a kit uh, lens, then it is a pretty good deal you know, at around four or five hundred dollars. That's about the same price you would pay for a used one. Uh, so I would just suggest that if you needed one of those, consider doing a body upgrade at the same time to uh, be able to get it for a good, you know, better price. That said, if you see yourself moving to full frame in the future, uh, you don't mind a little bit of extra bulk and weight. There are a couple of uh, lenses that you could get that would be uh, like a fixed aperture 2.8 instead of the uh, 2.8 to 4 that this lens provides. So the lens would be a little faster. Uh, however, of course, you would have to adjust the uh, field of view. Uh, for using on a crop sensor in the meantime. Um, but there are a couple lenses that you might want to consider in a similar price range between, you know, $800 to $1,000. You're basically looking at being able to get one of those lenses. So, yeah, if you don't want to see yourself in the situation where you're, you know, buying this lens new and then later on down the road trying to sell it and getting, you know, a bad return on your investment, you may want to go ahead and pick up one of those lenses and just deal with the... Uh, focal range uh, uh, differentiation there in the meantime. So for any of you guys that have ever seen my videos before, I don't generally you know dwell on technical aspects of a lens and as I said I mean this lens was totally trashed by uh, Ken Wheeler in his video there uh, on a lot of technical qualities and stuff comparing against the other lens. 
that said, I don't actually do my reviews in that way. I prefer to uh, just show you images for yourself, let you decide for yourself if the lens uh, fits for you and the type of work that you do. That said, I do find this lens to perform pretty well. Uh, it's got a pretty good overall um, quality to it. It seems pretty sharp, you know, edge to edge. And I would mention that generally I do landscape photography. And so what I generally like to do is I keep this lens on pretty much all the time until I come across a situation that I need like a wider angle, for example. And because I shoot the lens, you know, with mostly everything in focus all the time, uh, my requirements are not the same, uh, you know, as someone else that wants to shoot portrait and that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, as far as it goes, uh, I will show you different examples at different aperture settings and let you just kind of make up your own mind, and I do have some images to show you on that. Uh, but as far as it goes, um, from my experience, it's not a bad lens, and uh, for, if you can get it for around $500 or so, I would say that it's a good general purpose lens for anyone using a crop sensor camera and um, you know anyone that plans on sticking with crop sensor camera into the future. So uh, anyway guys, uh, let me know what you think and uh, take care.